Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Gonna take all his fades and, and take all his shots and you handle everything out the ring. All right. So then we talking to you then, all right? <laughs> we starting with you. Since you the big homie, we starting with you. That's how it goes around here. I, I want to just start off by saying you are so, like, lacking self-awareness. Like, when you, when you give such a lackluster performance and then you think you can make threats to people because you gave a lackluster performance, pause. You don't have the right to tell me what I should like or to tell Cam what he should like. That's that's not your place. This is a, a lapse of judgment. I lost mad respect for you because I used to have mad respect for you. When you had Shakur with you, when you line, um, young boy NBA up. Drake is beefing with Kendrick Lamar as we speak. I have not heard, this is the first time Drake got into some shit and I hear you say shit to Kendrick Lamar now. Why do you think that you could tell us what we can and cannot say. This ain't, no, this is not 1982, bro. You cannot sit here and tell, get distracted and that be quiet. Nobody know that part because I should just be going viral. You bugging. Uh, Cam and Mace versus Jay Prince. Yeah. I understand what Cam and Mace is saying. Same. 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 A lot of us from New York, we don't respect, you know, big homies. Even though we have our own I never liked the word big homie, but I understand what they're saying as being a New York native. Just because you respect it in your city, that doesn't mean we're going to have the same. I mean, we'll respect you, but your rules doesn't apply to us. Cam absolutely bodied that point. Yeah. Like, whatever you was doing on camera with NBA Youngboy, why was Shakur Stevenson seated next to you? Like, if you are an OG, you have to behave like an OG at all times. So that's including that time. Mm -hmm. So if you're not going to be it then, don't come over here and think you about to do that now. I love Mace saying, like, who is he? Who, who what, yeah, what's happening? Mace smoked it. What's happening right now? They both worded it, and they were, they, it still seemed respectful. Mm -hmm. Yes, they yes, didn't get out of respectful. And, right, like, there's just a difference between big homie and OG. Yeah, I take the OG part. Back. Like, the OGs mm -hmm. that's older than you, more experienced, they've been around, and they're teaching you. They they're keeping you away you. from mm -hmm. danger. They fucking, they, mm -hmm. they, they're, they are valuable in your life. Yes. They're not ushering you to some bullshit and if you love them enough hopefully you won't usher them into some bullshit right like it's a give and take relationship mm -hmm. i love that mm -hmm. yes all of that uh extra big homie you tougher you got more y'all killers miss me with that somebody would have to kill me first sorry i'm just that stubborn or rebellious or whatever you want to call it yo 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 hey man check it man it's your boy eceo man I had to really, really look at this. I said I wasn't going to speak on it. I said that yesterday because of the respect I got for all these parties. But after hearing Joe Budden comment today on it, I was like, man, you know what? I got to say something, you know, because of the way the terminology was put. You know, you got to think about it, man. I heard what May said and I heard what, you know, and I knew they was doing a back and forth with Shakur. The, the, whether the boxing thing, I get it. Everybody is subjective. You can say what you want to say about whoever, but these guys are undefeated a lot of time. These guys, and that's Jay Prince's guy, so I expect him to, to back his guy. You know, a lot of times these dudes get on this internet, and this internet game then became a game where everybody playing it the way they want to play it. Jay Prince, to be honest with you, he, he, whether you want to believe he OG or not, he OG. Especially down here, and you, I heard what you know. You, I get it. You know, I heard what May said. I heard what Cameron said. I, I'm gonna always have respect because I see where he took the music in the South, and I see where he took a lot of these different situations we deal with today in the South, and not only in the South, but in the, he went to New York, he went to the West Coast as well. So he was he was he was going he was moving around. So at the end of the day, he, it took a lot to do what he did for what we stand for when it come down to the South. But I get it if you don't like his boxer, but I and I also get it if, if if Jay gonna speak up for his boxer because Jay knows that boxing is a thing that when you speak down, you guys have a great a big platform what do you think that's gonna do for his boxer if you say this he gonna say something too it looks to me like jay just said something back you guys take it as a threat or whatever but i, I i'm gonna be honest with you, it's great marketing uh to be honest with you uh it seemed to me like jay understand what's going on now that if you say something if he says something back it's gonna spark some great marketing for his guy so and also he i don't think it was meant as a threat like you guys making it out to be that's what that's the way we go with it 
because of the way it was and how long he been in the game. But at the end of the day, I mean, I just think he's speaking up for his guy, and, and, and I think you guys are taking it to another level. And I got to say this about the New York Big Homie statement that was said on, on, on Joe Budden's show. Uh, New York Big Homie, uh, would you speak on one of y'all people like this? You know what I'm saying? Because I don't hear that happening. And when you start referring to New York and he this, he won't do this in New York and all that, now you're putting it in a demographic standpoint. So at the end of the day, I had to come up and say, hey, man, let me say something because at the end of the day, man, if he speak his peace, he speak his peace. I'm rocking with him. I'm in the South. And at the end of the day, a lot of times it can be disrespectful. Joe Budden, when it came to the Migos, when it came to NBA Youngboy, which you just brought up on your show, when it came to all these different people, I watch you. And you always, you never come from a point of view that you stand for anything for the South. So I got to say that. It's all good. But I'm just saying, don't act as if you care about what's going on with what we do down here because it ain't never been that. And it's always been a demographic thing. So at the end of the day, I think you need to check the terminology of what Jay Prince was speaking. At the end of the day, you see Jay, he repping this guy. He on this Internet. He might have tweeted some whatever he done. He still, like I say, it's it got to be respect at the end of the day. And I respect what they doing. Shout out to Shakur for the win. Uh, I wasn't like I, said, I wasn't gonna say number Shakur. Then Bray he won. So whether you like the way he won or not, uh, people used to talk about Mayweather all the time. The way he defend, he have a, deep, a great defense. So at the end of the day, you guys just bugging. I think a lot of times these podcasts, you getting on these podcasts and the OGs or whatever, and you say this or you say that, you can't expect that nobody ain't gonna say them back. Even if you, yeah, you got a show. But at the end of the day. Whether y'all want to like it or not, Jay Prince got a platform because he can say something and it can strike up some stuff like it just did. Y'all were cool with going back and forth with Shakur, but when Jay Prince said something, all of a sudden now, oh man, it's a, it's an issue. So at the end of the day, that's y'all putting this foggy cloud above what y'all doing, bro. So at the end of the day, man, keep podcasting, keep doing your thing. But I got my boy Mayhem the mentor, and Mayhem, I don't know what Mayhem going to say because he, he from the South like me. I, I don't know. What's up, Mayhem? Man, I like this. First thing I want to shout out is to Mike Prince, man. I don't really know Jay Prince, but I was incarcerated with Mike Prince. That's Jay Prince's little brother, man. Okay, you was in, you was incarcerated with Mike Prince. Mike Prince, man, on, on Cofield, man. But I just want to say, man, <clears throat> man, this man is highly worthy of respect, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like we don't fear. A lot of people, I mean, he keep hearing this, we fear him, we fear him. No, man, we just respect people who really got a sincere track record, who got a consistent track record of being a man of their word. And and that's something that they don't want to believe in, man. They don't really understand, man. You know, I'm not originally from Texas, man. I had to move down here. But when I moved down here, I had to realize real quick, man, Texas niggas is a different breed. You feel me? Texas state got more black people in it than any other state in them uh, in America. And okay. Houston is the biggest city over here. And Jay Prince has been maintaining his composure for 30 some 40, 50 years, man. That's not no coincidence. He he got rappers. He got boxers. He's affiliated with Floyd May Mayweather. And Jay Prince go all the way back. I understand why people in New York, they, it, it seemed like the people in New York still mad when Jay Prince and Willie D went down to New York City and knocked out Melvin Mel. And, and even when that happened, everybody from New York had an overinflated confidence that Melly Mel was going to do something to Willie D or rap a lot and show the Texas country boys what it was. But what ended up happening was Willie D went up there and knocked Melly Mel out. Surprise shocked everybody. And that, that's what's going to happen every time uh, somebody from the East Coast played with somebody down south. It's not, it, 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 Mace is a powder puff. Cam is a powder puff. Cam just getting chased around his car. Mace caught the Holy Ghost and left in 96, went to Atlanta and became a preacher because the streets got real. When the going get tough, the tough get going. Both of these guys have showed they're not qualified to talk about tough street stuff, but yet every time they get opportunity, they run out there in that street. For what? Views and likes. Wow, man. and mayhem, like, like, you know, you being a guy who you did like 17 years in prison. Was it 17? 17. 17 years in prison, and, and, and you know, I mean, when you were locked up all them years, did you hear? I heard about, what? I heard about Jay Prince. I heard about Scarface. I heard about Willie D. They talk about him in prison. That he's, he's, he's serious. He's not no joke. But, I mean, you know, you people, you do your research. Research Birdman and Jay Prince. Research uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather. We, we search A-Ball MJG, and, and, and yeah, he, he got a track record, man. He's a man of his word.
Yeah, and like I said, the main thing I looked at, and, and, and like I said, me being one of them guys that, you know, I know already how this internet game is going. My thing is, I think when Jay Prince speak now, he's speaking for his brand. He's did it a few times, and a lot of times they take it somewhere else. Like I said, it's, a e it's easy to turn and twist things in a way to where it looks a certain way. But when you're dealing with branding and, and being on this internet, it's a whole different world than what it used to be when Jay Prince was in the 80s and 90s, or early 90s and 80s and 70s. This world is different now, and I think Jay Prince understand that, and he knows the value of speaking when, when, when his brand is on the line and a fight like that is taking place i think that's what's really going on man i just heard also that uh it's been a lot of flack because uh, uh shakur didn't want to sign uh with the same people and they were looking at new other options and that's one of the main reasons why they had all this negative outpour about him trying to you know people trying to make him you know uh submit to a deal man and, and that's that's not right but Man, it's just crazy that these people are steady trying to, you know, get an opportunity to. It seems like they want to send Jay Prince to jail. Like Charles the White, they talk all they they talk tough, but really they're so ready to call the police. And it's all this protection talk. They ain't talking because they want some trouble. They talking trying to intimidate him from doing something. But it's really, if you do, if he does anything, Cam and and Mace have already solidified. They will call the police. It's not no. They ain't finna do no, you know, they just, he just talked about when little L had robbed him and he was told the police, he called, he, he, he was dealing with the police then, trying to get his watch back. He ain't, they, the dude took it from him, you know what I'm saying? And he just, he had to go to the police to get his stuff back. I mean, but this is what you get when you deal with these types of people, man. But it's all for the views with these guys, man. I, yeah, I, I say, I don't, I don't think it's no smoke like that, to be honest with you. I really, even on, even on, even on Joe Budden, like I said, his show, he was so much in agreement with what they said. But then you got to look at the demographics. Of course, they're in agreement. And then the guy on Joe Budden's show says, hey, man, you know, in New York, you know, uh, basically, you know, if, if we got big, you know, and I get it. I respect everybody because I love New York. I go up there. I got a lot of people that watch my show from New York, too. And I got a lot of people on the West Coast that watch my show. But I represent the South, and they know that. But at the end of the day, it'd be all love until, you know, somebody speak out of turn. And then it'd be like, okay. This now we're going back to the old days where they pretty much they they pretty much bias with the music. They they don't show like the South is doing nothing. They you know it's it's mumble rap and all that. Now okay, Jay says something and it gets real disrespectful when you start looking at it from a demographic perspective. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of love up there for us. I get a lot of comments, a lot of East Coast. I rock with the East Coast. I rock with the West Coast, and I'm in the South. I'm the only one. I be going everywhere, and I ain't tripping. But at at the end of the day, it's a lot of love out there for Boss Talk 101, and I just trip off the way, you know, I never get on here and, and talk greasy about nobody, none of the past uh, patriarchs. I'm an Eric B. Rakim, EPMD, I'm an older cat. So I, I rock with them old, uh, you know, uh, Cool Mo D, Biz Marquee, uh, uh, Boogie Down Production. I, it, when it comes to the music, when it comes down to the, the movement, when it came down to whether it was sports or whatever, you know, it's some dogs that came from up there as well. So at the end of the day, whether it was on the West or the East Coast, and I rock with everything, but when you start saying on the East Coast or in New York, you know, we don't do the big home and blah, I get it. Terminology changes everywhere. But we all in the same gang. We all look alike. So when you start doing that, you really, you know, that black on black thing, if it do get serious, here we go promoting that. I'm not with that, man. We got to show more love than that, bro. I got something else to say. How, you know, it's crazy because I just seen an interview where Reverend Run from Run DMC yeah. was talking about the first time he ever been in the Royce Royce. It was in Jay Prince Royce Royce. Now, Cam and Mace will call Reverend Run their big homie. But Reverend Run calls Jay Prince his big homie. Make it make sense. Wow. Thank you, man. I'm going I'm I'm a, I'm to a end on that note, man. Make sure you got like, subscribe to the channel. We have my boy Mayhem the Mentor on here today. Y'all seen him on Boss Talk 101. You can go check out his interview, uh, see who he is, see his background. We, I deal with some real ones on Boss Talk 101. Everybody that watched the show already know that. And at the end of the day, man, it's a lot of love. And at the end of the day, man, make sure you guys become members of our show. And, hey, stay tuned because there's going to be much, much more, man. Hey, it's Boss Talk 101, man, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see.